corners off of circles, circles that I previously cut again for the gussets on the sides. I gotta clean them all up and get them ready to put on there. Get them down to the same size. All right, I said I was gonna cut that thing with a torch, but I didn't know this rubber was inside of it neither. It's the first water well tank I've been in, and it's nothing like a water heater. <laughs> but I tried to blow through it at first with the torch, and it kept blowing back at me. So I knew something was wrong right then. But that's good to know. Now I know what's inside that thing. It's kind of handy to know. You can see right there where it blew all back at me. But anyway, so I had to use a blade to get it open. So we're just gonna go from there. All right, I went ahead and got the barrel put on the stand. I think the last thing you seen was me welding these ends on, and they came out good. I'm gonna cut the uh, smoke pipe right there. Stand's looking good. A couple gussets under there to help hold it. I'm cut the vent over here, and uh, start going on the table. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish actually till next weekend. Cause my the last cutting blade I got is almost gone and I want a cutting blade to cut that door that torch is gonna warp it I know it is it's gonna warp the mess out of it so if I got enough blade I'll finish it today if not then it'll be next weekend I guess but anyway that's what we're looking like so far we're gonna keep going on it I'm just running 
uh, one by six it says the table this time I just got them all glued up and I'll cut the section out the section will come out right there where that bad spot is to fit around the pit and uh yeah that's pretty much it I was gonna do a steel table I said I wasn't gonna do a wood table but uh I needed the the, the small angle iron I got the three-quarter angle iron and the half inch angle iron to do a couple more of those uh tailgate grills those tabletop grills actually here's one right here I got chicken wings cooking on but uh I need to do a couple more of those and see I use that small angle around there and so I wanted to use what I had on hand to build those two after this pit so anyway that's where we're at you seen me cutting brackets a while ago they're just tacked on there until I get the table put on and we'll go from there tomorrow All right, y'all, uh, I think the last thing I recorded was burning the wood for the table on here. And uh, some stuff went wrong, like it does sometimes, you know. Sometimes you just got to deal with it and figure out what to do after that. But anyway, I had uh, got the cutting blades today, and I went ahead and cut that door out. And by the time I got it out, man, it, for some reason, whatever reason, it warped bad. And I can't get it back out of there. This don't normally happen, but this is the first time I've used one of these tanks and cut through that well. No, it's not, because I used a propane tank like that. So whatever the reason, uh, it warped pretty bad. And this was the door that came out, and it tried to flatten out on this one side. And I know it wasn't the lips, because I bent the lip to the shape of this before I put them on. And it tried to bulge out down here and bulge out up here. And it, it was just bad enough that I couldn't do nothing with it. So um, that's main reason I'm going to make a part two to this video because I'm going to start squaring the door up. I went ahead and cut it all the way out and I only had a little bit of flat bar here and I put a piece down here, a piece up here and that's going to start the square of it. You can kind of see there'll be a piece come here, a piece on the side and uh, the front side will be flat plate. So that's where we are right now and plus when it pulled, luckily these brackets were only tacked on it pulled them some kind of way too when the tank changed shapes but i think i'm pretty sure i'll be able to get everything back right by squaring this door up it's just it's going to take a couple days it's starting to rain out here right now and it's supposed to pour rain for the next few days and also i don't have all the steel i needed to do this so there's going to be a part two to it i'm going to go ahead and end it right here on this one and then we'll get back on the part two after the rain's gone and i can get some more steel for it so if y'all like these type of videos, if you want to see the finished thing, come back and check out the next one. And uh, we'll go from there on it. We'll see y'all on the next one.